The movie I chose is Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which was written and directed by the late, great John Hughes. Ferris Bueller's Day Off is the story of a senior in high school who skips a day of school. Skipping school requires faking a sickness to his parents along with some other planning. Although the movie is titled Ferris Bueller's Day Off, the plot often moves with his best friend, Cameron Fry. Using scenes from the film as evidence, I will show that a bigger lifestyle change happens with Cameron, therefore making the movie more about him. Early in the film, Ferris calls Cameron and asks him to come over. However, Cameron is in bed sick, and Cameron refusing to come over at first, Ferris describes Cameron as tight. Pardon my French, but Cameron is so tight that if you stuck a lump of coal up his ass, in two weeks you'd have a diamond. Cameron has a very hard time deciding on whether or not he should drive over to see Ferris. This shows how he is very unsure about himself, as a simple decision has him at his wit's end. There's this is ridiculous, okay? I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, I'll go, with, I'll go. Shit. God damn it! Forget it. That's it. As the movie progresses, Cameron gives in to Ferris and his plans for this extravagant day off. He allows Ferris to convince him to take his father's Ferrari to pick up Sloan, Ferris's girlfriend at school. Although reluctant, Cameron allowing this to happen shows two things. The first is that Cameron trusts Ferris. The second thing is that he is beginning to live a little, as Ferris says in the following scene. He knows the mileage, Ferris. He doesn't trust you? Never has, never will. Look, this is real simple. Whatever miles we put on, we'll take off. How? We'll drive home backwards. <laughs> no. No! Ferris, forget it. You're just gonna have to think of something else. I'm putting my foot down. How about we run a nice Cadillac? My street? A nice stretch job with a TV and a bar! How about that? Come on, love a little. Following Ferris's lead, Cameron does indeed live. On this day off, he eats lunch at a nice restaurant, looks down on Chicago from the top of the John Hancock building, sees a baseball game at Wrigley Field, and goes to a museum of fine art. It is here where Cameron is drawn to one painting where a young child is crying. He continues to stare at it with almost no expression on his face. This connection to me shows that this child screaming is exactly what he wishes he could do. But instead he keeps everything in and his emotion is built up. At this moment, where he stares at this little girl crying, Cameron realizes the way he has been living is getting him nowhere. After this realization and the day off is over, Cameron and Ferris return the Ferrari to the garage. However, their plan to take the miles off of the car fails. Ferris continues to look for another way to fix it, but finally Cameron decides to take a stand. He says that he is tired of being afraid and wants to take control. In this scene, Cameron Fry finally lets his emotions out. I realized it was ridiculous. Being afraid. Worrying about everything. Wishing I was dead. All that shit. I'm tired of it. It's the best day of my life. I'm gonna miss you guys next year. I better check on the car. Miles are coming off. The 
The miles aren't coming off, going in reverse. Huh. Well, I thought that might be a problem. Just have to crack open the odometer, roll it back by hand. No, forget it. Forget it. I got to take a stand. I'm bullshit. I put up with everything. My old man pushes me around. I never say anything. That's the problem. I'm the problem. I gotta take a stand. I gotta take a stand against him. I am not gonna sit on my ass as the events that affect me unfold to determine the course of my life. I'm gonna take a stand. I'm going to defend it. Right or wrong, I'm going to defend it. I'm so sick of his shit. I can't stand him and I can this goddamn car. Who do you love? Who do you love? You love a car. Bitch. father will come home, you see what I did. I can't hide this. He'll come home, he'll see what I did, he'll have to deal with me. I don't care, I really don't. I'm just tired of being afraid. This last outburst sums up Cameron's transformation throughout the movie. In the beginning, he is very insecure about himself, worrying about every little thing in his life. But at the end of the movie, Cameron decides to take control. His quote, I am not going to sit on my ass as the events that affect me unfold to determine the course of my life. Shows that he is ready to take on any challenge. Cameron Fry steals the spotlight in this film by going through a major lifestyle change.